What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons to Light. Another amazing episode of NXT. Uh, and the show started out on fire, bro. This show started out on fire, bro. Good, good little post battleground episode right here. So, Gigi Dolan and JCJ had a match that I thought actually should have been on battleground. It, it was good enough to actually be at battleground. Um, uh, pay per view style match. Um, but hey. We got a chance to see it for free on TV. Like, hey, I'm not going to complain about a match that people could see for free on TV, man. You know what I mean? Like, look, if you could get it for free on TV, a pay-per-view style match, you know, hey, don't complain about it, right? But uh, Gigi Dolan faced J.C. Jane in a weaponized cage match. And this will start out on fire, like I said before. J, uh, J.C. came right. Start, like, uh, Gigi Dolan got the entrance first, and she came from right behind her. Um, uh, it started, uh, hitting, uh, Gigi Dolan right away when she was marking her interest. Uh, she had a nice little spot too, where she was smashing the cage door several times. Uh, that was wicked. And then she, uh, was lashing, uh, Gigi Dolan's, uh, back too. I actually like Gigi Dolan's, um, ring attire. I mean, uh, JC James ring attire too. I was looking at it real close. I was, it was like some denim shorts, black denim shorts with, um, like uh, some suspenders or something, some loose hanging suspenders. I like that outfit from JC. I liked it. I liked it. It looked pretty cool. Um, I've been liking some of the women's attire lately in uh, all of the brands or all of the uh, pro wrestling companies. I think I think some of these some of these women have been wearing some really good wrestling gear. Uh, but I like JC James a lot tonight. I hope she wears it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, man. So. JC was winning it early, then GG finally got some offense in. Uh, let's get to... This match was really good, though. Like, it was very entertaining all the way through. And it was a really good worked match by both women. And I actually thought GG Dolan uh, looked real good. Like, she looked real good in this match. Like, I don't know what it is. It, it kind of reminds me of Anna J and AEW as well. Like, they just work real good with weapons. Like, some, some women just work real good with weapons more than just in a normal match. But... I think even if this was a normal match, I like Gigi's intensity in this match. And she worked a real good match. She kind of reminds you of, like, how she was in her indie days. I don't know, like, what it... Since he's been in NXT, like, she's been lacking sometimes. But this is one of the times where it kind of reminded me, like, Priscilla Kelly in the indie scene. Like, when she was really putting on some good good matches in the indie scene. So, uh, this was real good. There was a cool spot also with a bat. Uh, it had some thorns coming out of it. I, I thought that was really cool as well. Uh, let's get to the rest of the match, though, uh, to the end of it. So, Jane Fish took uh, Gigi with a metal chain. Gigi escaped and whipped JC into the corner. Gigi got a two count after a, a side rushing leg sweep. JC recovered and gave uh, Gigi a neck breaker on a stack of chairs that Gigi set up. Gigi and JC traded Yay Boo forearms. Dolan won the rally. JC uh, escaped Gigi's finisher attempt and slammed Gigi into the trash, the trash can, which is pretty funny. JC uh, gave Gigi a super kick and a cannon ball into the trash can. JC set up a table, uh, and we knew this was gonna be a table spot. The the, fa the fans actually wanted uh, uh, the, the the table to set up. JC was kind of trolling the fans when she was setting it up. Gigi and JC had traded some counters. JC tossed uh, Gigi into the cage wall, which was pretty cool, and trapped her between the ropes of the cage. This was about to set up this uh, table spot. JC dragged Gigi to the top rope. Gigi recovered and slammed JC's head several times into the cage wall. So, and then Gigi gave JC a nice super choke slam that pretty much put uh, JC out of her misery in this. And she picked up the pinfall. That was all she wrote for J.C. Jane as G.G. Dolan as I knew what would happen one in over 12 minutes, 12 minutes and a half to open up the show in this weaponized cage match. Really good showing from both girls. Um, I think the chemistry is getting better and better between them two. Like, obviously, their feud should not end, but for right now, they do need to face some other opponents. I think we all can agree on that. We kind of want to see what G. Well, we kind of saw with G.G., but not a few, though. But we've seen Gigi face some other people. We haven't really seen JC face too many people outside of her tournament opportunities. 
Um, I would love to see JC in a different uh in a different feud though. Now, I do want to say this. I didn't have a poll for this. I wanted to put up the poll uh earlier, but I didn't have time because I was working on the videos. Uh, but I think JC, I think GD Dolan would have uh, won anyways. But I still wanted to see JC how many votes she would have got though. But uh, somebody was saying something about. Cause we're still gonna get. I know. I know we had the draft, but I think we're still gonna get some people called up during the year, like we had last year. I think we're gonna get some people called up later in the year. I don't think JC has to wait until the draft next year. I will probably throw her on the main roster. I don't. Cause, cause to me, I had the idea of having a power struggle between JC and Core J. Like whenever Core J gets her group, and having like a little power struggle at the top between the two. But maybe they could just do that with her and Tiffany Stratton. Um, but, or maybe if they could elevate Taylor Paxley a little bit more. You got you also got Blair Davenport. We're going to talk about that later. You could probably do it with her as well. But I would like, I think J.C. Jane should get caught up in, in either Damage Control or Trisha's group. I think she should get called up to aid one of those factions. I say like, SummerSlam could be a good spot for her or sometime in the fall. Um, but I think she should get called up before the draft next year. I I'm starting to really think like she did everything she could do in NXT. You're not going to put her in another faction. She's probably not going to lead a faction. She doesn't need to get the NXT title. She's already established and made. Um, I think you do that with her, man. I think you do that with her. So let's see what they do, though, um, with this, because I think it's going to be very interesting. I'm going here to get this video like. Share, subscribe, y'all. I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit further about J.C. Jane because we, I see some good things going on with Zoe Stark and Trish right now. I'm going to talk about J.C. Jane in that video, so be on the lookout for it. Thank y'all for watching. After news to light.